This episode is on geological modeling with Paraview in a nutshell. With its powerful rendering capabilities and user-friendly interface, Paraview can overcome the limitations of large dataset display of QGS. In this very short episode, we will create and refine surface based on borehole data. I will start by going to the file menu, selecting open, then choosing the CSV file to load the borehole logs. The data has been displayed as a spreadsheet in the new window on the right. To display my data in 3D, I am first adding a filter called table to points and then choosing the columns representing my coordinates in the filter properties. After clicking on the 3D display window and refreshing the view by choosing the set view direction button above the layout, my point set should be shown. Finally, I will select the data column representing my strata to be displayed with different colors. Now I can also adjust the color table and make the points representing well tops larger. On the spreadsheet, I can select the well tops I'm interested in, for example I am choosing top of Cretaceous now. Then I can filter them out by using Extract Selection option from Data Analysis submenu. This filter I can reuse to select and copy any points I may want to use, for example the quaternary. This time I have again selected and copied the Cretaceous well tops, and I am adjusting the color scale and the size of the points. Creating a surface in Paraview is possible using Delaunay 2D or Delaunay 3D filters which generate a triangulated irregular network. I have adjusted the offset value to fine-tune my surface, and this is generally not required. One of the limitations of Paraview is that it is problematic to increase the number of vertices, and smoothing the surface is not straightforward. To create smoother surface it is possible to use Resample to Image option. This filter creates a regular grid which can be displayed as a surface or points. By limiting the resolution of the new grid a new dataset could be created this however does not allow to create a smooth surface. Nevertheless, Parview does not offer as many options to interpolate spatial data as for example QGS. I will use QGS to run interpolation creating a raster surface and later convert it into vector. I am selecting the IDW tool from the interpolation menu in the processing toolbox and specifying the interpolation attribute and parameters, which I have discussed in one of the earlier episodes. Finally, I am selecting the output file in TIFF format. Now I will open conversion from raster menu and choose polygonize option to convert the raster into a polygon surface and save it as a shape file. Although it is possible to upload the interpolated polygon surface into Paraview, shape files are not natively supported, meaning that we cannot correctly load the data here without additional plugins or extensions. Instead, to upload the interpolation in a CSV format to Paraview, I will first extract vertices from the polygon surface using Extract Vertices tool from Vector Geometry menu in QGS.
The vertices are saved as a shapefile, and I will export them to CSV format. Before uploading the file to ParView, I still need to adjust the attribute fields using Refactor tool from the Vector Table menu. Now I can upload the CSV file with points representing vertices of interpolated surface into ParView. The point dataset I have uploaded can be easily transformed into a surface using Delaney 2D or Delaney 3D filters. I think this episode demonstrates strengths and limitations of using ParView and QGS together. I will continue to explore more advanced options of ParView as a tool for geological modeling. Thank you for watching this and please subscribe to receive updates.